Hey guys, uh, this is Daryl from Washington, D.C., actually Upper Marlboro, Maryland, about 30 minutes outside of our nation's capital. And um, hopefully just a quick video, an update <clears throat> from my initial video, which I think was about eight months ago. And a big shout out to, to G-Man. This is happening because of G-Man's request. Uh, my first video happened as a result of G-Man's request. Um, so G-Man, this is for you. Um, I'm uh, constantly encouraged by your recovery, your strength, uh, your love, and that emanates through your videos. I always watch you whenever I'm up. If I'm up and you're on, I'm on there with you, and I'm enjoying it. So. But I did have a couple of things I wanted to share. Uh, today's what? I don't know. Wednesday or Thursday? I don't even know anymore. My my life is so interesting. I don't really keep up with the days. It's either Wednesday or Thursday. But it's raining. Uh, it's a beautiful rainy day. I love rainy days. And I'm sitting out on my back porch. Um, and I'm relaxing. But I did want to share something that happened to me I guess it may have been about four or five months ago now. Um, it was a couple months after the awakening or whatever you want to call it, uh, the, the, the higher level of consciousness that happened within me. Um, but one day I was seated out here, sitting out here on, the, on my screen back por porch as I am now, and I, I'm sure I was watching some YouTube videos. It's, you know, I do a lot of that out here, just enjoying that. Um, the next thing I knew, or the next thing I realized, um, I was on the floor, on, on the floor here of, the, of my back porch. I don't know how I got down there. I don't remember <clears throat> anything precipitating to get me there. I just was there on the floor on the ground and I was aware of it I was conscious that I was down there because I was saying why are you down here on this on this floor what, what what are you doing down here I was asking myself that while I was down there so it's weird I'll try to describe it as best I can and I, and I get so frustrated with people trying to describe their experiences and they seem not to have the words I get frustrated but bear with me I understand how that is now um, but so I'm, I'm on the floor on the ground here and then I'm yelling I'm just like ah, ah, no pain or anything just yelling so and I'm aware of it I'm conscious I'm saying Daryl why are you yelling what do you get up off this floor what are you doing what is going on <laughs> so all I know is I just kept yelling, ah, ah, ah. I guess it was loud. I would think it would be loud. I, I was thinking that I was hollering loud. I, it felt like I was. Um, so as the yelling continued, then I, I want to say heard, but it was almost more felt, felt and heard a voice coming from inside of me. The voice was not outside. It was emanating from inside of me. I heard it and felt it. I can't say that it was a male voice. It was more male than female and all that's relative, you know. But the, the emphasis wasn't on male or female. So, you know, it just came across as a neutral voice. And the message was simple. And I'm, okay, keep in mind, I'm down on the ground yelling ah! then the message comes and the message was this put others first put others first put others first over and over again I'm down there yelling ah! put others first Put others first. So maybe after, I don't know, you know, the time piece is lost, but I, I would imagine maybe after 10 minutes 
of hearing that and yelling, I think I said, okay, okay, I got, I got it, put others first. Uh, it continued, put others first, put, and I'm continuing yelling. Ah. And then the thought came to me while I was down there yelling, and this still, the message was still coming with the first. It came, it, something came to my mind and said, Daryl, people are going to hear you. Would you stop this yelling and get up off this floor? I, I want to stop this. So I said to whatever this was, this experience, I said, I want to stop this. <laughs> and it was so weird. What happened was, so the voice said, okay, stop. Floored me. While I'm still down there yelling and screaming, this stand put it first, it said, okay, well then stop. Just like that. And it took me, it put, took me a kind of a back, because I, I, I said, oh, because I thought I was being forced to do it. I said, oh, I can stop uh, if I want to. And then so I said, well, then I said, thought to myself, well, I don't want to stop. And then the voice said, well, don't stop. <laughs> Just like that. So I continue to yell. Ah, ah, ah. And I'm seeing myself on the ground doing that, hearing the, the message, put others first, put others first. So this must have gone on for another maybe 10 or 15 minutes because I felt my back was feeling kind of sore. I said, I was talking to myself while it was going on. I said, Daryl, you've got to get up off this floor. My, my back is beginning to hurt. This is uncomfortable. And then, but I kept yelling because it actually, it, did, it, it felt kind of good for some, some weird way. The, the yelling felt good. And, and in the yelling, I had a thought to myself. I said, oh my God. The voice I'm hearing is God. And that just blew my mind because I was confident it wasn't my voice and I didn't, I was confident it wasn't coming from outside anywhere. It was emanating from inside of me. And I said, oh my God, God is talking to me. While I'm yelling, ah, I'm hearing, put others first. And I'm still thinking, oh my God, this is God talking to me. So, as I realized that, then the yelling continued, but it trailed off into like a laughter at the end of the... So before, before that, it was just like, ah, 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 no pain, just yelling. Crazy. But then after I realized it was God, source, whatever you want to call it, then it was more like, ah, <laughs> ah, <laughs> it just trailed into this laughter. And then that went on for a while. Still the message, not, not stopping, put others first, put others first. And the, vo the, the voice of the message was authoritative, but not pushy, not forcing at all, but, but authoritative, but yet very calm. At the same time, it was weird. Put others first. Okay, so as I did that, ah, ha, 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 the, 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 the yelling trailing off to a laughter. I'm still down there saying, okay, I got to, I got to get up. I got to get up. Then the message had an extension to it. You know, maybe after 20 minutes of the put others first, put others first. Then the message said, put others first. Love Martin. Put others first. Love Martin. Okay. So I'm ah, put this first. Love Martin. Okay, okay. Um so it finally ended. That was it. That was the only the the the, 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 the main message was put others first. Then the extended lesser message was love Martin. Okay, so it finally ended. I'm laying on the, on the ground, and I get up. And I'm sitting here like, like I'm sitting here now, just saying, what the hell was that? What the hell happened? I had no recollection of getting down on that ground. I remembered everything from the ground on, but I don't know how I got down there or why. I remember getting up. I remember how it ended. I remember con conscious of all of it. But, and after I got back up in my seat, I said, what the hell was that? That was wild. 
Um, so I went on back and went into the house and I sat down and I just kind of pondered it. Uh, it was with me for a while, but then, you know, this is maybe five months ago. Very profound, so I've never forgotten it, but I had never really shared it either. So I wanted to share that, you know, for whatever it's worth. Um, um, if it resonates in any kind of way, enjoy it or not or whatever, but I wanted to share it. But I did want to share what I feel like what that was about. Um, and this may resonate with you. There is a matter of fact. I'll, uh, it's right over here to the left. Maybe I'll show you guys in a minute. Hanging on my on my wall here on my outside back porch, there's a um, I've I have a proverb from Ghana, and um, it was a poster that I had uh, framed, glass and framed. It's really nice. I'll, maybe I can show it to you guys. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Anyway. The, um, the, the, the proverb says, the ruin of a nation begins in the homes of its people. The ruin of a nation begins in the homes of its people. It's from, it's from, it's from Ghana. And I love that. I've always, I didn't understand what it, you know, I kind of thought I knew what it meant, but I've always loved it. That's why I had it framed and I put it on the wall. Well, this incident, what, what, what was resonating me from, to me from this incident was about primarily about love, but not just love, love specifically in terms of loving what's and who's at home. And let me see if I can say it a different way. The proverb says, the ruin of a nation begins in the homes of its people. If there is no love in your home, <laughs> that emanates into the universe. That emanates into the world, the city, the, the country, the world, the universe. The message for me was, we are love, and we all know that. But we often miss the fact of who we are to love, or we confuse the, the notion of who we are to love. Or we spend most of our lives and time wondering, am I loving the right person? Am I loving the right way? Am I, am I, am I loving rightly? And this is what the message was for me. And if anything gets complicated for you, that's a sign that you're probably thinking too much about it. You, your mind is taking it way further than it needs to be. You are love, right? The question of who to love and what to love is this, and this is what was most powerful for me. Who to love? Whoever, whomever you see in front of you. Literally. If it's your cat, love that. If it's your dog, love that. If it's a hummingbird that's, fly, hummingbird that's flying across your path, it's in your path to be loved. Now let's take it a, a step further. Who do you live with? Oftentimes, the person that we love the most, or we say we love the most, gets the least love because of the proximity of where they are. They're right here in the house. I can love them anytime. I can love them tomorrow. I'm gonna to concentrate on loving my coworkers, my extended family. No, no, no. The ruin of a nation begins in the home, homes of its people, not in your workplace, not at church, not in the synagogues, in your home. Who has God placed in your space, that's who you love immediately. That's what you love immediately. It's there, and it's there for a reason. He's there, she's there, whatever's there. And you may be saying, oh, well, it couldn't be the person. This person I'm with is horrible. They mistreat me, They, they whatever. 
that's fine. Then you can find a way to love them at a distance. But love them nonetheless. That's going to be the key to changing your situation. That's the key to every situation. So the message I got from all that on the ground stuff and all that love and all, you know, uh, put others first. I'm looking for who I need to love outside of what I see in front of my face. And so the message to you is, love the one you're with. Love the thing that you see, literally. Right now, look around you. Is there any person near you? Love that. Is there an insect crawling around your foot? Love that. Do you feel a breeze blowing in your face? Love that. Do you feel a uh, 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 coldness? Are you in a climate where it's cold? Love that. It's in your face. It deserves to be loved. Everything is love. And all it wants in return is love. So don't neglect the person that's in your life, in your immediate space. Don't assume that that person's okay, they got enough love because they've decided to be with you. No, no, no. That person is the one you need to love on the most or that thing. Some of you may just live, live with a pet. Love the hell out of that pet. Every time you see it, love on it. Love it. So hate to sound preachy, but I got some of that in my background. It's kind of hard to, I guess, to get out of that. Um, but I hope, hope you get what I was saying, and, and hopefully that makes some sense and resonates um, for you. And again, I, I, I wanted you know, to do this because G-Man encouraged, so very encouraging and so lovingly and patiently um, asked, uh, us to do this and every time he says it and my heart says yes I need to do this but you know you got to find the time and, and, and um, everything is perfect in terms of timing I don't stress out over anything things happen and unfold as they're meant to do and that's um, that's why I'm grateful that from my last video seven eight months ago however long it was I think it was G-Man untitled it confused and loving it I was very confused, and not that I'm unconfused now, um, but I'm much more clear about a lot of things now, about, uh, about the essence of what I think this thing is about and, 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 and who I am in it. So anyway, I hope you guys um, get something out of that and it wasn't a bore or a waste of your time. Um, I'll probably do another video uh, every time I do one, I, I, I wonder why I haven't done more. It's not that big of a deal. Um, so anyway, uh, go in peace. And remember, um, don't look outside to love anything. What you're meant to love is whatever you see in front of your face. Literally. Try that. I guarantee you. Uh, you'll be blessed. All right, guys. Take care. God bless. Till next time. Hugs and kisses. Bye-bye.